So Teresa, tell everybody exactly how you did this. Okay, so first off, you're gonna wanna remove the front hook because you're gonna pull in the direction that the hook was landed in. So if I was to pull this one out um, in the direction it was landed in, I would pull that other hook into his foot and it wouldn't be pretty. So you snip them off? So you just snip off the hook. Or at very least, debarb it, right? No, I would take the hook completely off if you can. If not, snip them off. So that's what I did. I snipped them off. Uh, make sure that you have line tied to the front of the lure and then tie twice around the hook that is embedded with braid. Get that braid right up against the skin where the hook is and you're going to pull in the direction that the hook went in. So you got to kind of line that lure up with how it went in. It's going to be the least painful and it's not going to pull any meat out. <laughs> you want to attach braid to that hook that's embedded by looping it around twice and then getting it flush with the skin. On the other end of the lure you want to attach a long piece of mono, something you can wrap around your hand to keep it very taut and in line with the way you're going to pull. <sighs> then just be sure you have a really good grip on the mono and the braid and give it one good hard pull and it should pop right out. Ah, oh, I hate it. Thank you very much, honey. Actually, you did a great job. I hate doing it. Three cheers for Teresa. Yay. Oh, <laughs>